Well, today's a really good day for this series. Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 75 of the Football Manager Southampton series. Yes, we've stayed. Not as big as a surprise as beforehand when we stayed in the Premier League. I've already spoiled it, but if you haven't seen the last one, go watch it. It was the best episode of Football Manager I have ever recorded. And at the table, we're no games played. We've got a new team, Huddersfield, who won the playoffs against Middlesbrough. Stoke, and I can't remember the other one. Who was the other one who just got promoted? It escapes on mind. Maybe it's Palace, but I think Palace were... Burnley. Burnley's the team that come up. And before I show you pre-season, which I usually do, I'm going to show you the transfers. And let's start with the outgoings. We've spent a lot of money in this transfer window, so we're going to have to burn through all these quick. First lone player going to Swindon is Sean Pinnock. Got four games in the first team squad, this guy, and he looks like an exciting youth prospect. So hopefully he gets a lot of time at Swindon. The next one is a guy I wanted out of the club, but he still stayed. Two stars, Joe Hodge on loan at Preston. And this is a really good one. A bench player for us, Luis Eduardo, going on loan to Norwich, who of course just gone down. So hopefully they'll be fighting for the league. He's an important player for them, so hopefully he gets a lot of game time. Good stats can grow into our first team, maybe. Speaking of growing into our first team, this hot prospect, not far from first team level, but I've let him go on loan as a star player to Bolton. 18 year old, it's Jim Bigar. Got a couple of uh, games in the first team as well. Four, the same as Sean Pinnock, and hopefully he can grow even more. Only the two more loan deals, because we've got a lot of players going out on loan to get experience for when they come back when we need to stay like mid table. So we've got Rack going out on loan. He was always two and a half stars, never near the first team. The cup striker, should I say. And he's gone to Ajax. Really good deal. Regular starter there. And the final one, which I think is a good one. Nena Petrovic, two and a half star rating. Now he's gone slightly down over time. He's going on loan to Hull. And he's played really well because the championship start has started already before the Premier League. He's played two games. I think kept one clean sheet, but being both man of the matches. And now onto the transfers. The first one you don't care about. James Rowland going to Sheffield Wednesday. 29 rated on the scout scope. Not very good. Second one, quite similar. David Faulkner going to Preston for 100k, 16-year-old. One I wanted to stay personally, but has gone is Dave Stewart, 18-year-old, to Bristol City. And now we're on to one of the two big outgoings. For 10 million, Daniel Diaz has gone to Brighton. You might be thinking, oh, this is kind of good, but kind of bad as well, because he was his only goalkeeper at the club. Don't worry, we've signed another one. But yeah, he's gone to Brighton. I thought it was good, but dodgy at times, and we need someone more reliable when we're staying in the Prem. And following him out of the door is the fellow Argentinian in Jonathan Abdallah. The striker really started well at the club, scored four goals in like five games, but then... Just went quiet. He got dropped down the team into the reserves and everything. He wasn't happy all season. I didn't show you any of it because I was confident keeping him as a backup. Didn't sign the contract and has gone to River Plate for 11 million. Now, we're on to the exciting transfers. First one, Jesus Esquimila. And I signed this guy two seasons ago. Like the one of the first signings I made at Southampton, I think. That might be three seasons ago. Four. I signed him ages ago, but I didn't look at this stupid clause. I signed him when he was 16, so two seasons ago. But yeah, I didn't see this clause where he couldn't come straight away. And now he's a future prospect, the Mexican 18-year-old, two-star, not far from first team level. Got good stats growing, and I think this guy could be the future. The next cheapest one is a keeper. Don't worry, this isn't our first team one. We need a backup because Sean Pinnock's gone. We never had a backup last season anyway at the end because uh, I can't remember who it was left. I think Travers or someone. I can't remember. But Sergio Rico comes in from relegated Norwich for 2 million. Bod thought this was a bad deal. I thought it was good. He's got experience at PSG, Norwich, Sevilla. And yeah, he's got decent stats going down, but he's only on the bench. And now on to the signings that mean something. Harry Wilson coming from Norwich as well. We've robbed him a bit. They haven't got Donny van der Beek. I'm sorry about that. I know they had them and he was a good player, but I haven't been able to sign him. Wanted too much. This guy, though, 9 million, 30 year old, valued at 16, so we got a good deal. It was four star when we signed him. Gone to free, of course, expected. Didn't expect him to be that age as well. Didn't check. But he can play as a right winger, probably a backup. Got good stats, good overall. And here is that backup keeper. We've got Marcus Delhurst. He signed from Brighton. It was part of an exchange. With Brighton and Diaz, it was four star a minute ago, gone to three and a half like they always do. They just go down when they come to you. Really good keeper, English as well, in his prime 26 year old sweeper keeper. Hopefully he can be more reliable than the keepers we've had in the past. And now we have three players all signed for 22.5 million, all three of them. First one being Michael Stowe from Newcastle, 23 year old. It was between him and Lucas and I went for this guy because we were transfer listed, 22.5 
Three and a half stars was just for can grow more. Got really good stats, can play midfield, can, and even on the wing when he's needed. Excellent. And the next one, if you watch my eyebar series, you know who this guy is. It's Juan Camilo Hernandez. Yes. I didn't want to sign him because I didn't want it to be too similar to the eyebar, but when someone comes up like this and you're dying to stem in, uh, stay in the Prem, you really need to sign him. Three and a half stars. He's probably going to be behind Stokes saying that, but got really good stats. Scored a lot in preseason, I think. Yeah, it came from Shakhtar. was transfer listed. Got him on a free. Oh, not a free. 22 million. What am I on about? And the last one I think is the best. Matea Fortunado. What a name. 21 year old. Can keep growing. Three and a half star from Juventus or Zebre. Gone from the academy. Gone to the first team. Five goals. One, uh, five games. One goal. And yeah, this guy looks amazing. Can play as a box to box, which we needed. We needed a box to box to go with Wal Prowse, who's a deep line playmaker. That doesn't mean Turnbull's out of the squad. But yeah, really good stats this guy. And hopefully he can be our shining star. And there we go. There's all the signings. 94 million spent, 21 out. So I think that's fairly good. I mean, it's. It's average for the Prem, like Aston Villa, they spent a lot when they come up. Here's the team for now. It's not going to be the first team we go into, but we've got to get it organised for Brighton, who's up right now. now. I've just had an excellent team talk with the team, so they're all really happy with me. Hopefully that has an impact on this game, because we're playing against Brighton, who's Dewhurst's ex-team. So, keeper versus keeper, the keepers we've swapped, because we're playing Diaz as well. With Tony at the back, Burn, Soyunku and Diggy. With Fortunado and Ward Prowse in the CDM roles. Yes, I said uh, Turnbull wasn't out of the team, but he is for this game. With Bob, Simon and Smith Rowe in the cam slash wing roles. Because Stowe's on the bench. He's just come on deadline day. So I don't want to put him straight into the team. With Gavin Stokes up front. Hoping for the three points to start off the season like last year. It's completely escaped my mind. This is a derby, isn't it? Yeah, it is. With Tezmukov. We've coached him before, at least. Didn't really play him. Longstaff, Tuan Zebe, uh, Diaz, of course, in the net. But, yeah, this is going to be a difficult game. I'm going to passionately say, I expect to win today, boys, in this derby. I have faith in you all to deliver it. And the first highlight's gone to them. Andres Luiz throws it into Taylor. To Zemokliu. I don't know how you say that. He's a regen. Regen passes it to Dan Juma. To Zukiov. He goes round his man, morphs inside of him. And he's put it in. First goal of the season goes to Brighton in the first highlight. That's not good. Oh, dear. Oh dear, I thought we'd stand a better chance in this game with the team we have, but no. They've gone and scored straight, they morphed through the defender and put it to the side of Dewhurst with 1-0 down. However, we've got to highlight Tony, it throws it into Simon, I've told him to show a bit of passion. Tony, back to Simon, can we get a chance here? Wall Prowse has robbed Danjuma to come forward, Danjuma's tackled by Burns though. Simon with the ball in the middle, let's get a tackle, Fortunado into Wall Prowse, good bit of passing, Bob now. Bob gives it back to Wall Prowse over the top to Stokesy. Stokesy, please squeeze it in and you've got to do better. And now they have the next highlight. Dan Juma into Andre Louise to Longstaff. Can't concede now, boys. Longstaff to the regent. Dan Juma to Tezukimov. Dan Juma running down the line. He's been dispossessed. Stokes, please win that. No. And they're going to come at us again. Taylor with the ball now to Zemukiov. Dan Juma. Dan Juma running into the box. Tony with a tackle. Andre Louise into Pressland and Dewhurst catches. Growing into the game just a little bit now. But they're the ones getting the highlights on the half hour mark. Andre Louise throws it to Taylor. Into Longstaff. Regen over the top to Burns. Longstaff with the ball back again out to Johnson. They haven't gone down this right hand side much. Longstaff with the ball again. Tuan Zebe over the top to Johnson. Needs to put a tackle and he's morphed his way fast. Diggy through him as well as Johnson. Shelby Johnson drills it in the bottom corner. Half an hour in and with two goals down. This performance isn't very good at all in the derby as well. Need to improve. I've done everything different. I've got different tactics for this season and everything. But I've played it through pre-season and it's worked. Speaking of pre-season, I forgot to show you guys, didn't I? Poo. Doesn't matter. We're in this game now. As we're almost into half time. 40 minutes on the clock. Fortunado with the ball into War Prowse. Fortunado with it now. Out wide to dig it. And what is that? Really bad pass. Pressland through on goal. Don't let him make it free. Good tackle. And at half time, 2 0 is not very good at all. Very disappointing. Aggressive, boys. Show me something else in that second half. We need to get back into it. Tactics as well. I'm going to take Simon off and give Michael Stowe his debut in the team. Advanced playmaker. Instead of a midfielder. So that's good. I'll try that. And we've also got a really good bench. So we've got Turnbull, Harry Wilson and Juan Camilo Hernandez. Whenever they need to come on. But I'll give the rest of the team the benefit of the doubt for now. 
I'm going to throw in straight away. Get us into this game. War Prowl's the best player. Tackled by Danjuma. Fortunado with the ball. Gives it to Diggy. Diggy, come at him. Emil Smith row. Oh, and what a poo pass as Burns wins his header. Tony now to War Prowl's. Oscar Bob through to Gavin Stokes. Please score. And Diaz reads his ex teammate. Gonna make changes now on the hour mark. Stokes, mate, you missed too many shots for my liking. Hernandez coming on. And Harry Wilson for Oscar Bob, who's played okay, but Harry Wilson's getting his debut. All three players getting their actual competitive debuts. Want a good performance from them all. And a highlight for them again. We haven't hardly had any this game as Johnson has the ball. Johnson drilling that as going infield. Emil Smith Rowe with the tackle though. And Stowe, you've got to get there first, mate. Come on, Michael, as Maro Jr. has the ball. Back to Longstaff, out wide to Johnson. Don't let it be free as Soyunka wins his header. War Prowse, get on this counter-attack. Drill us forward. Longstaff's tackled here. Harry Wilson, though, makes the tackle. And come on, boys. Come on. Don't let it be free. And Dewhurst with a good save. Maro Jr. tries to pass it around Burns, but Burns whacks it out. The regen with the ball now. Up to Tizamukiov. As Stowe's going to get first of the ball. Come on, Michael. Show us what you're capable of. Running straight into Longstaff. That's really good. All their teams on yellow cards have been a very dirty side in this derby. Tonzebe playing a quick 1-2 there. We've got to put pressure on him. Regen, get at him. Get at Diaz. And come on, boys. It's too easy for him. Free kick for them as well. Straight to Dewhurst. Get us on this counter-attack. We've actually had more shots than them as well. Not really a surprise, actually, because we always have more shots and lose. As Cucho has the ball. I think that's Hernandez. And has the shot. Weird name for him. Last couple of minutes now. Stowe's picked up a bruise in the I'll just take him. No, I won't take him off. It's disappeared now. As they're going to lose the first game of the season. The Derby, 2-0 to Brighton. Hmm, not the best game in the world. Definitely not. Aggressively say, I'm far from pleased with that result. Hopefully it doesn't equal a really big struggle all season on. I mean, Liverpool are in the relegation zone at the moment. I'll show you right now as I go to the league table. We are at 15th with minus two goal difference. Not too worried yet. Crystal Palace and Leeds still to play. But look at that. Burnley and Stoke getting fresh 4-0. Huddersfield, who came up getting beat. I want that. All the teams that came up, just go back down. Let's keep the same Premier League as last time. And that's not what we want. Soyunku injured for two to three weeks with pulled down ankle ligaments. Oh. We've got the Carabao Cup draw for the second round. Who are we going to get in this? Hopefully an easy team. Where are we? Lincoln at the top. <laughs> we need to beat these away at the crappy... I can't even remember the stadium. I don't really care. Grimsby's rival is going to do Grimsby a favour. And Collar is off to Grimsby, our youth player. That's what I wanted. He's decided to go to town. I have had the decision to loan you out. There we go. Get out of the club. Go and get some experience at the best team in the world. And I think I'm only going to do two games in this episode because I think, like, season openings have always gone on a bit too long. Don't know why it's scouted Chambi again, who left us. Oh, that's took my interest. But, yeah, two games in this episode as Dewhurst is in the net for this game against West Ham at home. First game at the St. Mary's with Tony Burns Alator, who comes in for Soyunku, who's injured. There's only other centre-back. When we loan them all out, we need them. As Diggy's at left-back. Fortunado and Wal Prowse in the CDM roles with Bob, Stoke and Smith. Row through the cam slash wing roles. And Stoke's getting the benefit of the doubt just up front. Just. And West Ham's team, João Pedro. I know he's a good prospect up front with Oxlade Chamberlain, Sule, and Sauer at the back with Josh Sargent, who scored a wonder goal against us last time. Aggressive from the out. As we're going to say, we need to avenge what we did last time. I have faith in you all to do so. And a couple of minutes in, 20 minutes to be, in fact. We've had three shots, they've had two. Just need to get the goal. And we've got the highlight, just need the goal next. As Stowe passes it back to Tony. Tony into Fortunado over the bar. And it looks like it's going to be another boring first half, as that was the only highlight apart from now, as Fortunado has the ball in the midfield. Puts it over to Smith Rowe, headers back into Stowe. Smith Rowe to Stowe, can that be a good partnership as well? Prowse joins in, Fortunado gets the ball on the rebound, through to Emil Smith. And Dragowski makes a save. Much better performance this time round though, lads. So going into half time, looks like it's going to be nil nil. Don't want to draw this game. This season, I want to be winning these ones that we look like it's going to be a ball draw. I'm not happy, boys. Need to be better. And Gavin Stokes, you've had the slim benefit of the doubt. You're coming off now for Hernandez. Can he get the goal up front? Emil Smith Rowe ain't playing well as well. As we need this goal. Come on, boys. Look at the stats. We deserve it. 70 minutes on the clock. Juan Camilo Hernandez on the ball. Cutcho tackled by Davies. And VAR is consulted. Can we get a penalty? The penalty is given. Juan Camilo Hernandez goes to take the penalty. Can Cucho score? Please, Cucho, put it in. Be the next Catrone. And he has done. 
1-0 against the Hammers. The first home game looks like it's going to be a win. This is what we want. Wins from the off this season. We need to start strongly, although we lost 2-0 in the derby in the first game. That was a one-off. We'll call it a one-off. We've also got another highlight. I couldn't make it too good with. That would put us goal difference straight back to zero. As Tony has the ball. Goes in the middle to Smith Rowe. Cutcho with a shot and what a goal. He's come off the bench. I should have played him from the off. Two goals for him. Whatever you're playing. Football manager. FIFA. Pez. Just signed Juan Camilo Hernandez. I think he's at... I can't remember. Mallorca or something at the start. Or Girona in the La Liga. Just get him. It's amazing. And West Ham are a good team as well, so they've done really well. I mean, they've got Serge Gnabry up front now in this second half. Just a couple of minutes on the clock now. Don't let him have a goal. I want to have a positive goal difference this year. Fornals has the ball swung into him. Sargent back to Fornals. Sasameku. Oh, hits the bar. Gnabry can't get the rebound. That was a close one. As Derby and thrashing others field 4-1. Can you believe that? But it looks like we should be getting the win here. 2-0. Get in. A really good win. Let's start the season as we mean to go on, of course, with the anomaly at the start. But that is a good result. And you know what? You know what? That game has made me want to play an extra one on screen. Just for you guys. I don't care if it's long. We're going to go into the next one. I don't know who it's against, though, as Hernandez gets man of the match, deservedly so. And we play Everton at home before we go into the off-screen games, which are the Carabao Cup game, Leicester Man United and Wolves. They are some good fixtures, but we're 10th in the league at the moment, just going into this game against Everton, though. And we've had to reshuffle a couple of things on the pitch for this game. Dewhurst still in the net, though. With Gotts at right back, Tony comes back into his old position of centre back. Yeah, he's better at right back now than centre back because he's played there that much. With Alaor and Diggy in the defence with him. Uh, Stutano and uh, Ward Prowse in the middle, or Fortunato, should I say. With Bob Stoughton, and Smith Rowe playing really good in the cam slash wing roles. With Hernandez up front, of course. He's back in the team with them two goals. And I've just gave the team top. Forgot to talk, sorry. Actual, forgot to talk when I'm giving the team talk. But yeah, uh, Everton's team mostly regens. Tammy Abraham up front, but we need to put in a good performance to get points from this. As Diggy throws it into Stowe. Michael Stowe, can you create something straight away? Tackle Tammy Abraham or Cellini, the, the uh, regen. As Hernandez has the ball, Thiago Williams over the top. Thiago running at us, got to put a tackle in. Hernandez with the ball to Enriquez. Don't concede four minutes in, come on. Jojo Kennett, big tackle from Diggy. Let's go down the right-hand side now. That's good play from us. Switched it round the back. Composed as anything as Juan Camilo Hernandez has the ball. Cucho! Just wide. End-to-end -end stuff at the St. Mary's as Ward Prowse can whip this free kick in or corner. As Fortunado passes it back out wide. Can Ward Prowse put it in? He's offside. 35 minutes in. We have dominated this game so far. Fortunado's just been booked as well as Jojo Kenny. Don't know if that's a coming together, but half-time again. Looks like another boring first half. Nil-nil at the half-hour mark, as we need to passionately say. I am... Um, no, I'm not going to say happy. I'm going to be aggressive, because we need goals. We've got a highlight. Two minutes into this second half. Dewhurst with the ball. Gives it to Alaor. Now across to Tony. Into Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse, come forward, please. The Stowe has the ball over the top to Juan Camilo. Hernandez through. And Guyon has kept them in the game. Can remember last time they had Pickford. And Pickford scored an own goal. And we got the 1-0 win. So yeah, this keeper's an improvement. And it's time to make some substitutions at this mark. I might actually put Jallo on for Emil Smith-Rowe. Because he hasn't actually played that well this season. Juan Camilo Hernandez doing the same. So Gavin Stokes is going to come on. Even though he did score two last time. And Thiago William with the ball. Don't let them score. They've hardly been in this game at all. Hernandez for them. Gives it to Thiago William. Back to Chris Meppham. Now Hernandez with the ball again. Enriquez tries to switch it. Diggy with the header. Jallo with another. Fortunado in the middle with the ball over the top to Oscar Bob. Oscar Bob runs down this wing. Put a ball into Gavin Stokes. But he gives it back to Prowsey. Prowsey, please do something. Out wide to Gotts. Come on. My voice is building up for something at the end of it. Gotts puts it into Stowe. And we do get something at the end of it. Michael Stowe with the header first from that region. And a good finish from him. We're 1-0 up against the Toffees. Robbie Gotts with a good delivery into the box. Runs at the byline. Keeps it in. Whips it in. And Stowe out of nowhere. Heads it in the top corner. And 75 minutes in. Just put Harry Wilson on. I, can't be I still can't believe he's 30. It's like the uh, butter stuff. As Renard Lodi has the ball running down the wing. And he's coming to the box. We need to put a tackle in here, boys. As he has a shot. It's spilled everywhere. But Dewhurst dives on it. And it looks, please, like we're going to get the win. Four minutes to go. Plus added on time. 
Everton haven't really threatened in this game. Diggy with the throw-in, though. Time to get to and improve his goal difference. Fortunado to Michael Stowe, the goal scorer. Puts it into Stokes, and he scored the cross. Michael Stowe with his second of the game. What a cross. Yep, I'm going to tell you guys that he didn't mean that, because I think he will indeed as well himself, because I don't think that were a shot on goal. It looks like it was going into Stokes, but it went past the keeper. And there we go. Come on, ref. Look how far we're deep. And there we go. We've just dominated that game. 18 shots against Everton. A really good team as well. They didn't do well last year, but I thought they'd bounce back again. But we've got the good win. Two wins out of three at the start of this season. He's very good. Michael Stowe, of course, got man of the match. Two goals from two players in these first two wins. And two two nils. It's all twos. Uh, so we'll look at the competitions to round out the episode. We're in sixth position in the league. Yeah, I don't think we're going to stay there, but still, it, it's good. Fulham, Crystal Palace and Burnley all in the relegation zone. Only Burnley with no points. Everyone's getting points this season, so it looks like it's going to be a tougher one. But we've had a good start, and unfortunately, guys, this is the end of the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed the start to uh, this new season, the 2027-28 one. And there's a lot more to come, so stay tuned, like, comment, share, and subscribe for more of the series. Hopefully we can kick off this series in the Premier League, or not the series, this season, and do something good. Work wonders with the Saints in a bit. Peace. Peace.